M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we've got the Rouillage UV58, otherwise known as the Radtel 890, and we're going to use the PC programming software to program it. Uh, although it's you can program it by hand, it's a budget radio. These are only these are under forty pound delivered uh, from uh, AliExpress, and I just think these radios are excellent and just work well. The screen looks great, dual receive. It has so many other settings. So anyway. We're using the all-in-one programming cable, which is here on the right. I'll put a link in for that. And it's the twin pin cable. You plug the twin pin in. These radios, these rad tails are USB programming. So above you have the twin pin. Underneath you have the USB charging, not programming, charging. So you, you program with the twin pin cable. Just make that clear. Now there's rad tail there. And if you scroll down to the bottom of this page here, till it says Radtel 890, it says English programming software. Just run that. Once you've got it, then connect the cable, right click your device manager. Here, just right click at the bottom, device manager. This window pops up. Look here, look for ports, double click ports, and you want this one, USB serial CH340, and then you'll have your own COM number. Once you've got the COM number, go to the COM port in the program and click select the one drop down arrow and then click yes and you've got that and then it will just read the radio okay I'm not going to read it again but to read you go program read so now let's look at some of these different windows that we've got here obviously we can save it we can open a saved file here uh, we can select language there there is help we've got basic settings it looks like you can import some sort of logo and I haven't done this yet uh, let's just it's click import and see if it allows me to add some sort of photograph. Then desktop, find a f any photograph that is one up there. Okay. I'm going to write that to the radio just for fun. I can see the radio's gone red. Let's see if it boots up with that on the window. Uh, why? I saw a white screen. <laughs> but maybe it's got to be the right, you know, the right format. Saying, but you've got all your TX allow here. So now, obviously, only TX what your license conditions permit you. But it is showing that it's possible to TX on 480 to 520. Someone did ask me if it can do that. I'm not really sure. But anyway, you do what you're allowed to do in your country. Personal ID, ID and password. Old password, new password. So we've not got passwords in there. Basic settings. So channel mode. That's when it turns on. Voice prompt, key beep, Roger beep off. Channel report is channel number. I'm going to put channel name here. TX priority, I'll leave that as it is. Save mode, steps. Yeah, frequency steps, squelch level, display timer is off. Uh, timeout is off, Vox is off. Quite a few settings for Vox there. Um, you've got different frequency you can put in for your radio your broadcast radio very similar to both I would say these settings dual standby so I'm going to turn that on it means you can receive a and B at the same time I'm pretty sure standby area let's put B for now area channel a and B and I would say that defaults at the channels you want it to default at when it boots up is my guess. If I go to channel settings, I want it to boot up to number seven and number four. I'll go back to basic settings, basic settings two. I'm gonna go seven and four. There you are, these are my favorite channels. Let's go to anything else there. DTMF, it does say you can store one. Uh, let's have a look, please input Okay, let's just go star at three, then four, one, five, two, two. That's my hub net. Hopefully that'll work like so. And then let's write that to the radio. Right. You can see the radio flashing away. In theory, when it boots up, it should show the channel names of my favorite channels. It has booted up to the correct channels, but it's not showing the channel name, but that's okay. Um, we can still tinker around with that. Let's show you how to program an actual channel. So let's add in 
a new channel. Let's add in GB3AA. So we'll double click number. We're on number 13 here. We're going to go 14145. I'm pretty sure it's 61250. And then we do need a tone. So across one, we're going to put in. Uh, 94.94.8 then we've got the transmit frequency 145 uh, dot it'll be 0, 0, 01250 it's a 6 megs shift now on these radios they I'm pretty sure that you hold down I'm pretty sure it's the either the red button or the star and then you can type in your input it doesn't actually have a minus shift you just hold down the button. There's the power. So we'll go to the power next. Uh, busy lock here. No. Wideband or narrow. Scan. No, we're not doing that. Mute. And then name. Channel name. So a lot of names missing here. So we're going to go. Oh, that's why it's not showing the names. So we haven't put the names in. So we'll do that now. GB3AA. Uh, Let's go just put in some of my one names that I know. GB3FI. Uh, GB3WR, just here on the right. I don't recognize that one. That one's GB3FI again. Because I've been experimenting on this radio. That could be, no, not, I don't recognize that. This is Hubnet. I mean, I've tried to put names in on using the actual radio, and it's just impossible. It doesn't recognize. Um, it's very hard with using the radio. Use the software. It's a lot easier. That's all I can say. Hubnet, GB3WR. And it the screen looks so great on this radio. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Let's, what else we got here? We've got GB3BC. I might just add one more memory here. One four five dot seven five zero. And a bit this is very similar programming to the Juan Pi or the RTL four ninety. So WR sorry BC is ninety four point eight. And you want one five oh so six megahertz shift. Ninety four point eight high high power. Yeah, we've got to put the name in GB3BC. Okay, I know WB is on this frequency, but I can't remember the input, so I'm not going to do that now. And yeah, the other ones I don't really recognize. Let's put in the calling channel for two meters. One, four, five, dot, zip, dot. We'll, we'll, we'll put the in zero, zero, zero for now. I've got a feeling the calling channel is one, four, five, dot 500 and these are simplex look and it automatically carries that across look if you don't put any shift in there you are it's worth having that if it's a channel you're never going to use one four five dot five two five oops five one four five dot five seven five okay save we're going to save that somewhere so we, we can reinstall it if we need to. Let's put it on desktop in here for now. And it's called the, we'll call it the UV58. 58, 58 and save. Okay, so now write to radio. So program write. So this time when it reboots, and, and I will try and get a photograph that will show up on boot because at the moment it's just showing a white screen. But you can see that it can do it. Click OK, and then on boot up now. Yeah, if you look closely, it's quite hard to see. It's got the name above the frequency. Hubnet and GBF. If I'm just going to see if I can show you about holding down the button and seeing the minus shift, because it's not in the menu settings. Yeah, if you hold down the red, it just... Goes to, if you hold down the red, it just goes to single screen. But if you hold down the hash, the star, let me just work this one out a minute.
So if you go to frequency mode by pushing the hash, the radio does talk to you. So that's frequency mode now. Now, if you hold down the star, it goes red. And in, this is the input. So this is like having the minor shift. So when you're programming using the radio, you hold this down, type in the input frequency and change the CTCSS. So you go to menu, I think it's 26, menu 26, then select menu again, select your CTCSS, then once you've done that, push green, then back out with the red button. Now you can type in your the frequency you listen on and again, set your TCTCSS 26. And now you've got a memory, a me, you know, the memory channels in for a repeater. So, but the programming software is a lot easier, and it's a great radio. Thanks very much, and very inexpensive, very good value radio in my opinion. Bye for now. Seven three, all the best.